हे गाइस टॉप स्पेंडिंग वीक स्टडिंग द रॉन्ग टॉपिक्स फॉर योर पावर बी इंटरव्यू इन दिस वीडियो आई विल प्रोवाइड यू अ चेकलिस्ट ऑफ द की टॉपिक्स दैट हायरिंग मैनेजर फोकस ऑन व्हेन इवैल्यूएटिंग अ पावर बी कैंडिडेट्स हे गाइस आई एम रजत जैन आई हैविंग नाइन इयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इन डेटा एनालिटिक्स एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट दिस चेकलिस्ट प्लीज कमेंट द चेकलिस्ट इन द कमेंट सेक्शन एंड आई विल प्रोवाइड यू दिस चेकलिस्ट फॉर फ्री ओके एंड इफ यू हैवेंट सब्सक्राइब टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल where i'll be putting more uh, videos on power bi sql and the podcast uh, then you can please subscribe to it and click on the bell icon okay so let's get started uh, let me share the screen with you yeah so here is the mind map uh, what all are the important topics so i'll be co covering uh, from basic to advanced okay so uh, i have created this checklist in a mind map format hope you like this okay so let's get started with the fundamentals so in the fundamentals you should know what is power bi and its components what is uh, the licensing of power bi uh, power bi pro versus power bi premium basic terminology and the development life cycle how the report is developed from uh, uh, from starting to end how you clean the data how you visualize it and how you publish it on power bi service so all these are the fundamentals topic which you need to uh, prepare before going into a power bi interview the next is data connection and preparation okay so uh, in data connection and preparation you should know how to connect to a data sources what are the connection type like import and direct and what is the composite mode what uh, what power query editor does what is merge and append queries calculated columns and error how you can uh, handle the null values and error okay so these are all in data connection and preparation the third is data modeling this is very important guys data modeling most of the question ask in data modeling is about the schemas so star schema is snowflake schema this you should know uh, how you can maintain the relationship so they can ask you uh, why many to many relationship is not allowed and what is what is uh, your approach to handle the many to many relationship okay then you have active versus inactive relationship so they can ask you how you can active uh, and inactive relationship through the dax formulas uh, then you uh, then they can ask you about the role playing dimensions and slowly changing dimensions and this comes in data modeling this is some advanced topic so you can also know about this and what is the difference between the calculated column and measure and why it comes into data modeling because uh, measures don't take space in uh, the model whereas calculated column takes space in model okay then we have the dax so dax is very important uh, in dax you should know what is the context transition and filter context so how uh, the transitioning of the filter occurs okay basic function you should know like calculate okay um calculate is there all is there all selected how these functions work then we have the time intelligence functions like same period last year this you should know then we have iterator function so they can ask you what's the difference between sum and sum x okay so this is the iterator function uh then we have the conditional calculations how you can create the conditional calculation within the dax uh, so if and switch statement and how you can create the calculated tables and what is the use of variables okay so these all comes under dax and in this you should concentrate more on uh, context transition and filter context and time intelligence functions and uh, uh, basically iterator functions also some some and some x difference okay in the visualization you should concentrate on how to create uh, the visuals basic visuals okay and how you can customize those visuals okay sorting filtering highlighting all these features how you can do it in a visual then you have drill down and drill through so how these functions work in the power bi uh, how you can create a responsive report so many interviews ask that uh, i want a responsive report so how you can do it so through the bookmarks or through the filters uh through the slicers basically how you can create the responsive reports um the bookmark topic is very important bookmark and how you can apply those thing uh, to the selection pane so bookmark topic is very important check this topic uh conditional formatting they ask you 
and what is the small multiples okay so all these are the visual top visualization topic you can check more on this uh, but the main topic here is uh, drill down and drill through bookmark and how you can create the responsive reports okay then you have the advanced analytics so in advanced it's like an advanced topic itself so how you create the hierarchies and grouping uh, within a power bi what is q and a feature what is copilot all these are advanced topics what is ai visuals what all are the ai visuals coming in okay what if parameters are there and field parameters so you can know you should know the difference between what if parameters and field parameters then you should know uh, how you can use the statistical functions and the calculations group within the power bi okay so uh, these are not important i must say hierarchy in, uh, hierarchies and grouping is important q and a feature is important what if parameter and field parameters are important so this is comes under advanced analytics then comes uh, the most important topic which is performance optimization so hiring manager want to know that how you can optimize your report how you can optimize the data model okay so they will ask you how you optimize and diagnose your slow reports uh, how you can use the performance analyzer so you should know uh, how you can use the performance analyzer how query fold folding works okay so aggregations why you do aggregations for performance aggreg uh, performance optimization then uh, they can ask you like how you can optimize the dax measure so you can tell that we have created the variables okay and uh, this is like the storage mode vertipack engine and storage mode this is also an advanced topic so you can uh, check this topic also okay so once you uh, once you clear all these topics once you read about all these topics and 80 to 90 percent questions from uh, in the power bi interview will be covering from this checklist okay so if you want this checklist please comment checklist i'll give you the link to download it freely okay i'll uh, give you the link so that you can download it as an image and then you can check it deployment and administration okay so this is very important how you manage the work place a uh, work workspaces basically and how you manage workspaces and apps in the power bi service how you implement rls um, what's the schedule refresh in power bi what is data gateways data flows and incremental refresh so all these topics i must say are very very important when you go into the power bi service side so they will ask you definitely rls in every interview they will ask you about data gateways data flows and incremental refresh so all these topics i must say please prepare for this before going into any power bi interview then comes the main topic integration and uh, extensibility so how you can create the embedded reports power bi these are some advanced topics uh, which will be asked uh, from like five plus years of experience guys okay how you embed the reports uh, what is power bi rest apis what is custom visuals have you created any custom visuals power apps and power automate is also coming so have you used in in your projects so all these questions will come um, r and python integration is also coming direct query for data sets okay so all these are advanced topics so if you have experience more than five years please prepare for it okay then comes some real world scenarios i've given some examples like uh, how you design the business solutions in your previous project how you troubleshoot if the uh, data loading is slow how you optimize the large data sets or large models and to end solution how you have created in the previous projects and the governments and the best practices of the power bi so guys if you prepare for this checklist right uh, so i'll i will just uh, close all these if you prepare for all these topics right so 90 percent of the questions will come from this that's my guarantee of my nine years of experience so if you have uh, any more questions please comment in the uh, please comment down below this video i'll be uh, giving you answers in the comments also and in the next video also so all the best uh, for your interview and have a great day thank you